if you are new, welcome. Today we are going to be doing a simple skincare routine, a morning routine, using the Notorium skincare line. So if you're interested in a review and demo and my thoughts on the line so far, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you are a skincare junkie like me. And let's get into it. This is the Notorium Niacinamide Cleansing Gel A 3%. Niacinamide 3% plus hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. It says our innovative essence like gel cleanser formulated with a chemical level of niacinamide gently dissolves makeup oil and other impurities while targeting the look of dark spots and uneven texture. This cleanser leaves the skin feeling softer, smoother, and more balanced. It can be used on dry or damp skin. So I have been using this for a few weeks now and i really like it maybe a week or two you know it's been like two weeks going on three um i really like it to be honest with you guys it does have a different texture i guess is where the gel a comes in it doesn't feel like any cleanser that i've used before so i just go on with two pumps like that and then it says to use apply a few pumps onto dry or damp skin massage to emulsify rinse thoroughly so what i like about this cleanser is you can also use it for, as a mask um, if you want to do that you're just going to apply it to the skin and let it sit for about five minutes it is white on the skin you'll see that in a second you let it sit for about five minutes and then you rinse it off i do that most of the time i just go ahead and let my ingredients work into the skin for a few minutes so i do like that about this uh cleanser as well but this is how it looks after you add water so like i said i just do two pumps and it's really soft you guys it's not very thick but it's really soft and it says it's like a cleansing essence so that's kind of like what it feels like And as you can see, it's not very um, foamy. It doesn't foam up a lot, but it does have a nice consistency. When you do add it to your face without applying water, it, it is a little thicker when you wanna use it as a mask. So I do like that about it as well, but it's very gentle. Doesn't have a scent. Again, this helps take off your makeup. So um, I have used this to take off my makeup. Also, if I've used it to help take off my makeup, I've used to help just cleanse my skin in the morning and at night and also used as a mask. So all three, so far so good. I'm gonna rinse it and I'm gonna tell you guys my opinion after I rinse it on how my skin feels because like I said, I've been using this. I guess I can just tell y'all now. So after you rinse it, the only thing that I don't care for with this cleanser that much is that my skin does feel squeaky clean almost. And I don't like that because I feel like it's stripping my skin. It claims not to strip the skin. Um, and, and I want to say that it doesn't, but it just kind of feels not waxy, but squeaky just a little bit. Um, so I do want to point that out. So when you do use it and you rinse your skin, you will have that like squeaky feeling. Like I said, it's just, I don't know if it's just me, but that's how it feels on my skin a little bit. Like not a lot to where you're like, oh my God, my skin feels like sandpaper because it does have hyaluronic acid. So it does um, moisturize the skin, but it's just a little bit, just a little bit. I mean like a little, 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 little bit guys. And honestly, the formula is just really unique because it's just really soft. It's really soft and like a silky cleanser. And I just, I like it. I do. So cleansing the skin, like I said, when you're rinsing it off of as you're rinsing, literally rinsing it, it feels that like, you can feel the, like your skin is really clean, but it does not strip the skin like it doesn't take the moisture out i know that's weird but just wanted to make that little note in there for you guys but it doesn't it's not dry like even now my skin doesn't feel dry the next thing we're going to go in with now this i have not used i ordered it and it just got here a few days ago it's the azalic topical acid 10 percent it says it calms visible redness while targeting uneven tone and texture it does have also has niacinamide and vitamin c it says what it does is gently exfoliates, helps reduce dark spots, 
balances excess oil so if you are acne prone you are probably going to like this because it does help uh, balance out your oil because you know when your oil as your oil builds and overbuilds that is what creates the uh, bacteria which creates the acne to shake well apply an even layer onto the face neck and chest avoiding the eye area for best results follow with a moisturizer if mild sensitivity or redness occurs reduce frequency of use until skin adjusts wear spf during the day patch test prior to you prior to using is advised i didn't have time to patch test this because i really forgot you guys and i'm going somewhere tonight so i really hope this doesn't bother me but i'm going to use a little bit I do think um, products like this you guys are great to use in your skincare routine like a basic skincare routine you should have the minimum of a cleanser a toner a treatment serum a moisturizer and of course SPF in the morning so you should have those few items in your skincare at the least I do like these bottles they are glass I told you guys it has niacinamide vitamin C and coffee seed extract which minimize skin imperfections such as congestion, redness, dullness, and discoloration. They almost smell, it has a familiar smell, I can't put a finger on it, but that is the Doppler there. So I'm gonna use about three. Uh, three pumps or drops. I don't have anything on my hands. I'm going to apply it though to the skin. It's not sticky. I'm going to use one more drop, you guys. One more drop for the road. <laughs> oh, shoot. No. Go back in there. Ooh. Okay. So, it's not sticky at all. And I probably should have damped my skin a little bit because I know that serums apply better on a damp skin and I know that and so shame on me for that but I should have done that and I didn't but it doesn't feel like a hyaluronic, a hyaluronic serum or any other serum that I've used really it just kind of feels I don't know it's not sticky at all i show you guys on my hand though because I think you'll be able to see it better that way. But that is more of the consistency of it. So it's not really thick at all. It's just a lightweight serum. So that's what it feels like. And I'm just gonna rub this in my hands and then I'm gonna use some on my neck and my chest because it says that you should do that which you, all your products you guys you should use on your neck and your chest i didn't want to go in with it like i would normally use my serums on my face so like with my hand i would probably normally do that on my face but because i have not used this yet i don't want uh i'm not sure if i would get a reaction so i just want to be real simple and chill with it i mean it feels really good my skin feels good so far just using the cleanser and going in with the azelaic acid so again if you're acne prone this is great even if you're not acne prone but if you are specifically acne prone my acne prone friends that are acne prone like moi you may want to try this of course i'll report back and let you know if i had any skin reactions or if i notice a difference in my skin at all um, again it helps with you know congested skin my skin feels really good i just got my facial last week and i got the revita pin so if you guys don't follow me on instagram follow me over there because i did post about that and explain exactly what revita pin is but my skin feels really good okay so my skin doesn't feel tingly there's no stinging there's nothing weird going on so we're gonna move on to the next product and that is going to be the quadruple hyaluronic acid serum hyaluronic acid at four molecule weight levels which i have no idea what that means but um, it says our serum combi combines a very low, low, medium, and high molecule weight hyaluronic acid to deeply hydrate skin on multiple levels for maximum skin plumping moisturization. Shake well, apply an even layer onto the face, neck, chest, avoiding the eyes. 
So this, so you guys know that our body does normally produce hyaluronic acid, but it does not produce enough for us not to use something to help implement the moisture into the skin. So that is what hyaluronic is used for. It is just great to put that moisture or build that moisture back into the skin to leave the skin feeling nice and supple, bright. It looks like your skin has been taken care of and kept and I love that. But before I go in with this, hold on, let me do my eye cream because that's what I normally do in between placing my serum. So hold on, let me do this really quickly. Or eye balm. Can you guys guess the eye balm that I use? <laughs> if you guys are viners, you already know. So I'm gonna go in with the hyaluronic acid. I have been using this, you guys. Again, shake well. I've been using this already along with the cleanser, so it's doing great for my skin. So I just go in with about that much. And I love hyaluronic acid serum anyway. My skin loves it, loves it. So that is how it looks, massaging it on the skin. Oh man, it feels so good. It feels like I'm giving my skin a drink of water. That's how soothing hyaluronic is. And in a basic skincare routine, you guys too, you can definitely implement hyaluronic acid. It is a great serum, serum to have. That is what my skin is looking like right now. Before I put my moisturizer and everything on, I just want you guys to see. I'm not using a moisturizer by Notorium, so I just want you guys to see how my skin looks without applying the moisturizer and without applying a sunscreen. This is how it looks. It is how your skin should look with the hyaluronic acid because that's what it's supposed to do is give you a nice layer of moisture. Okay, the last thing I have by Notorium is their Pytho, I think that's how you pronounce that, Glow Lip Balm. It is in clear. They do have these in multiple colors. I do like the tip of it. I haven't used this yet, obviously, because I just opened it. Also great as an overnight lip mask. I love lip mask. I'm currently using the NARS lip mask in orgasm, and I love it. I do wear it at night. It's nice and thick, 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 thick. And I use it during the day too. Like I don't take it with me anywhere during the day, but if I'm home, I use it. Just love trying new lip mask. And that is what it looks like on the hand. Oh, and that is thick. Yes. Uh oh. Hydrate the lips. That feels pretty good. It smells like vanilla a little bit, like very lightly. It almost smells like my um it smells actually just like the Summer Friday, Summer Friday's lip balm. If you guys have used that lip balm, it smells just like that. This lip balm is probably gonna hang on to my lips for a few hours. That's nice and thick. I probably used too much. And this is 0 0.3, this is 0 0.34 ounces, so it's small enough to fit in your bag if you wanted to carry it throughout the day. So this is what the skin is looking like before moisturizer and sunscreen, you guys. This looks great. At night, if you just wanna to go to bed like this, you can definitely go to bed like this. You don't have to put a moisturizer on or anything. You can just go to bed like this. But if you need more hydration, put your moisturizer on. Even if you want to use like an overnight mask, you would do that last in this routine also. So, I am definitely gonna add my moisturizer and my sunscreen because that is just a part of my AM skincare routine. It just feels really good. My skin feels hydrated. I don't feel irritated. It doesn't feel like I have too much on my skin. My skin does not feel greasy. Um, it just feels nice and balanced. I mean, you guys can look at it and tell. It just feels really good. So I do love this and this is 7.1 fluid ounce. I don't know if they have this in travel size. This one is one fluid ounce. And this one is one fluid ounce as well. So you do have a few travel friendly products. This one I would definitely obviously put in a smaller bottle if you're gonna travel. But to be honest with you guys, to give my honest opinion, I really do like these products. Um, like I said, I just had that one little thing about this one, but honestly, I really like them. This one I'll give you guys an update on the actual azelaic acid. 
just to let you know if it's doing anything for my skin. But the hyaluronic acid I've been using, it just gives my skin some great moisture and just balances me out. And I love that. So I am loving these products. I will link them down below for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you used anything by Naturium. What do you like? Um, what is working for your skin? They have so many products in their line that I want to try, but I really need to just, I'm trying to chill. But every time I look online or go into Target, I'm like, oh my God, I want to try that one. Or I want to try that one. So I'm trying to ease into it. Um, now that I know that I don't experience any irritation, at least with the products that I've used, I'll probably go ahead and just pick up some more things. They do have an acne line that they just came out with. So I'm definitely going to be trying that one so again you guys i will uh definitely link these below check them out hopefully i'll be able to work with notorium in the future who knows but um this is not any sponsored content just wanted to give you guys a little demo and review on my current am skincare routine and just trying out new products that completes the end of the video you guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. If you are a skincare junkie like me, stay tuned for more videos and go catch up on my older videos as well. Again, thank you guys for watching and supporting. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers. I'm excited. We're getting up there. We're climbing the charts, you guys. So be a part of that 2K if you are not. Again, leave me some comments below. Let's chat about skincare and things we love, things that make our skin feel amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.